Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game figure from NECA Toys. That's right, NECA's incredibly cool video game line continues on. Many of the figures in this line have been based on 8-bit NES video games. We've seen Sega get touched on, we've seen Super Nintendo get touched on, and now, with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, we've got an Atari figure. So let's check it out. As you can see, he comes in a beautiful boxed packaging that resembles the old Atari cartridge box. It's got the same logo right there on the front, tells you at the top it's an action figure, not a video game. And just like with all the other boxes we've seen in this line, there's even some fake wear and tear. You can look around the edges of the box and it looks as though it's worn as though it's an aged box from the 80s. When you rotate the box around to the backside, we have screenshots of the action figure. It's really cool though, we have some backgrounds from the video game that he's based on. And just like all the others, this is also a window box. There's a great little Velcro tab, and when you rip the box open, we've got a great window that displays the figure within. We've got some great scenes from the Atari video game behind him, as well as the fuel level up top there for his chainsaw. And over on the left flap, it just has the Texas Chainsaw Massacre logo from the video game. So, the box is incredible on these. It's definitely one of the high points and one of the reasons these are fun to collect, especially for video game fans. But, let's go ahead and get Leatherface out of the box and take a closer look at him. So, Leatherface. As you can see, he's just green. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because the video game that he's based on, on the original Atari, Leatherface in that game was basically a green blob running around, with the only other colors being the kind of peach of his face and the black or brown of his hair and his shoes, and that's it. The rest of him was a solid green. So that style from the video game has been completely recaptured in action figure form. It works out pretty funny on this one, because... All of the other video game figures that NECA's done have had a really wacky paint job that kind of makes it look like their 8-bit pixelated look. With this guy, there's really no colors or anything, so he's just straight green. Now, you can see the details on the face are a little bit better, um, but it's mostly just those solid colors. It's kind of like a peachish or skin tone color, and then we've got the dark brown of the hair. You can see that the face underneath is about the same color as the hair, and that's all we're really getting. So that is all you get as far as the colors go on this guy, but that's because he's meant to look like that really, really bad video game. <laughs> Now, the details on this are awesome, because the sculpt of this figure is based on the uh, ultimate version of Leatherface that we've already received in the line. So many of you Texas Chainsaw Massacre fans might already have the regular edition of this figure. As you can see, the sculpt is awesome. We got great details on the face and the hair, really well done. I love that the apron on this is actually a cloth material. It's kind of got like a fake leather feel on the front, and it's done in green. Uh, but on the other side there, you can see that it's like a cloth material. So that's pretty cool. I wasn't really expecting that, but it works out really well for this guy. It uh, does definitely allow for the articulation to still function if that's something that's necessary for you. So you can see you got great articulation at the head there. It's ball joint, rolls all the way around, articulated at the neck there as well. Good motion there. The arms are jointed so they can move upwards, forwards, backwards at the shoulders. Swivel at the elbow, standard elbow joint, great ball joints at the wrist so you can rotate that all the way around. You can see the uh, torso moves at the waist and that's why the uh, cloth uh, apron that he's wearing comes in handy because it still functions very well. You can see we got ball joints at the legs. The legs can go outwards, forwards, backwards, as well as kind of swivel side to side. We've got joints at the knees, very tight joints there. Uh, but you can see they're nice and hidden. I love the hidden joints on NECA's figures uh, at the knees. So you can swivel those as well as bend them. And then we've got great ball joints at the ankles. So you can pose this guy around. He still functions well. He's just solid green. <laughs> And to go along with this solid green look, he's got a solid green chainsaw because he's running around in that game with a chainsaw. And, well, you can't be Leatherface without a chainsaw, right? So we can easily put that in his hands there. You can even get some two-handed poses. And there we've got Leatherface posed with his chainsaw. So this figure is really fun, but it's really goofy as well. But it's meant to be. It's supposed to be. The straight green might turn some people off, but if you're a fan of the video game collection, you love these old wacky video games, this figure was made for you. 
This figure was made for me because I love that sort of stuff. And he looks great posed alongside your other NECA video game figures, especially your other horror icons. You can get your Jason and your Freddy from the NES game right there with your Atari Leatherface. How cool does that look? I love it. And of course, I mentioned that box in the beginning and he poses so well with that box as well. So whether you want to keep him in the box, whether you want to pose him right there alongside the box, or just pose him with all the other figures in line, he's really great. Comes highly recommended for me, but... I love this sort of thing. <laughs> it's really great, and I think NECA's doing an awesome job with their video game line. So there you go, my friends. There's a look at the Atari version of Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game. I got this on BigBadToyStore.com, but should also be available in other specialty stores that carry NECA toys and even Toys R Us stores. So happy hunting, my friends. And hey, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on a video. Until next time, my friends.